welcome up the director of this movie, Joe Wright. Hello. Hello, hello. So what are some of the reasons that this movie is resonating with people? Um, and again, it turned out to be more timely than you might have even imagined when you signed on to it. Yeah, I've always, so. yeah, I've always wanted to make a topical film, uh, and and um, and certainly didn't think this was one when I took it on. It was January 2016. Uh, be careful what you wish for, really, because um, as we were going into production, Brexit happened, which in my book is a complete disaster. There are many different points of view, um, uh, and then the American. <laughs> Um, <laughs> election <laughs> happened, and then the French election happened. Marine Le Pen, you know, the, the fascist uh, um, uh, candidate, very nearly got in. And the Dutch election, there's that horrendous man with the big hair. I forgot his name. Um, uh, and 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 so it took on a resonance. Um, and at a point, I started thinking about writing. Line, pointed lines that like Churchill basically came up as you know with 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 the idea of the European Union although he's been kind of reclaimed co-opted by factions of the sort of far right including despicable characters like Boris Johnson um, uh, and so at the time I wrote a line about how you know when Winston's looking out the plane and seeing all the refugees and I wrote a line about um, you know uh, we must form a European Union to stop this or something. Um, and it just felt didactic and it felt kind of um, inappropriate. Um, there's a French phrase, mot d'auteur, which is word of the author. And, um, and, and I was trying to get word of the author out, you know, and, uh, and, and allow audiences to make up their own minds, you know. I think our job as storytellers is to offer questions um, uh, scenarios um, uh, that provoke sometimes and then respect the audience enough to allow them to take on those questions and find the answers themselves. I guess I knew that Winston Churchill was very pivotal in fighting Hitler and winning World War II, but I didn't realize how close we came to not winning. And it's, that's a story that is kind of, um, that's the big news of this movie, to be honest with you. I mean, we all know how um, Hitler could have wiped out the British Expeditionary Force had he turned right instead of left. Um, he, he kind of paused for three days. Why he did that, no one knows. Um, but the, but the, the, the fact that we nearly signed a peace deal with, with Hitler um, is completely new news, um, and is a, and is a, and is an angle on. I mean, you know, obviously, Churchill said. Someone said to Churchill, um, uh, "I believe history will be kind to you," and he said, "Yes, it will, sir. For I intend to write it." Um, uh, and it's true. He wrote his own history of himself, and uh, and he never once mentioned a possible peace deal. Um, he, it wasn't what he wanted to say. No, right? and all the great biographers, you know, um, Martin Gilbert and, and, you know, there's nothing in those biographies about it. You only learn it by going to the actual minutes of the meetings, which those meetings are pretty much verbatim of. So, um, Anthony McCartan, who wrote Theory of Everything, is the guy who came up with this script, and pretty much close to what you ended up shooting, or you changed it? Um, it's always difficult territory, this. Um, uh, it's pretty much close. The structure is, is exactly the same. Um, uh, the, I wanted to make sure that, that, that Halifax and Chamberlain weren't villains um, and that, they, that their point of view was valid, as I think you know, there are certain wars, pre you know, recently that I would certainly have sided with Chamberlain and Halifax. You know, and, and I think that I wanted I wanted an ambivalence, uh, uh, so that at one point the audience might think Halifax is correct, and at another they might think that Chamberlain's correct. And so I wanted to make sure they weren't villains, as they often are portrayed as. Uh, also, um, I've made.